I feel like I completely left out whenever I started working for Steve and Renee. I feel like I'm part of their family. I, we do such fun things together, traveling and creating things, and every single day is so completely different. Um, yeah, I love it. This is a dream job for sure. <laughs> What is Rebecca now? She just said her sister called. Hold on. No. It, it. Oh my gosh, we were here working and Steve was outside on the lawnmower and Renee got a call. I didn't know who it was from and all of a sudden she opens up the back door and starts screaming at Steve, get in the house, get in the house. Um, he comes in, come to find out there was a potential active shooter in the neighborhood. Ended up not being anything, but it was a lot of excitement in the meantime. Yeah, my sister just Hey, Rebecca, I just got I just got a text from the neighbors. It says false alarm. Long story okay. by New Braunfels PD mistake. Oh. Oh Some, somebody had an old phone number tied to a Spanish trail address. Somebody somewhere was shot. Might be Chicago. So it's not even here. Oh, wow. Hey, Fred goes, uh, we just did this on the boat. Do we have to do it again? He's like, yes, ma'am, we do. <coughs> She's like, oh, well, I don't understand. We just did it on the thing. Are you sure that we have to do this? He's like, yes, ma'am. That's what we do. We have to check you again. And then Ray was like, well, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, are you sure? He goes, for the third time, ma'am, this is what we do. And I was like, I wish I could talk to her. <laughs> my niece. No, it's mine. Oh, for my, my niece. Niece. in my skirt. Oh, of course it was in your skirt. In Who put it in there is the question. I did. Dirty birdie. <laughs> Lori, you show him the new merch. I think he will be nicer if it comes from you instead of me. Probably. This week's been so fucked. Okay, we'll mess with the rest because that puts us on the way to May 14th. Yes your traditional meet and greet it wasn't just like come on the stage right. take a picture with me i'll shake your hand we'll chat next you know it was like almost like a fireside chat kind of thing yeah um so the norwegian people who were helping like all stayed and watched that and that was cool. <laughs> for the record i was not invited to the cruise me neither oh cool it was yeah. cool it turned that that part i think turned out really special yeah. for their they have like a program called latitudes and it's for people who cruise super frequently with yeah. them and so it was for like their latitude VIPs. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And were they able to d show the film, y'all's uh, video they before? They did. Oh, yeah, good. they showed the video leading into it, which was cute, because I think a lot of these latitudes people didn't necessarily know who Steve Trevino right. was. There were a couple of people who were like, oh no, we saw Steve Trevino was gonna be the latitudes guest, so we bought oh, this cruise yeah. specifically because awesome. we wanted to see him, and we just thought it was so cool that latitudes brought Steve Trevino. I were like, hey, let me see the back, let me see the back. I actually really like it. I do it. too. Steve's gonna hate it because he hates his face on things, but I actually really like it. He didn't like it at first because he doesn't ever want his face on anything, but we convinced him that's what his fans want. And it's a cool shirt. So they will be in, where's he going? Plymouth and Laconia and Plymouth. Laconia and Plymouth. In Massachusetts. Yep, Those Timmy will have cool. these. When we toured, they took us to the Amber Museum and like a tobacco place. And then we did a rum, we went to a rum factory and did a rum tasting. And so when we arrived, a tour bus full of people had arrived too. So we essentially did that stuff. And that we kind of brushed through because yeah. there were so many people. But there was a, an Indian family that recognized Steve. Really? Was, they were so cute. They were so sweet. They were uh, so excited. It was a big group of them. That was good. That's cool. Oh, dude, this week's been so fucked. <laughs> So you know, nobody's attacking. You. Listen. So you know, my priorities yeah, at the too. moment are sex with chocolate, Steve. chocolate, and Mother's Day. Well, or sorting out what's sex going with on with chocolate. When in doubt, have sex with Steve. It's real simple. Not everybody, but my wife. And sex with Steve. Um, Mother's Day podcast. We had sex with Steve. <laughs> But Mother's Day podcast, Lori, you can handle that, right? The whole thing? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if, if summer comes and I don't have furniture, we're gonna fight.
Well, stuff is already on back order, so you be patient. Remember like our couch, how we had to wait months before the well, couch Well, why don't we go to that place that we got all this other shit from? Because I don't want that other shit here at the house. I looked at their catalog online and I don't know that they have, this is, it's the swivel chairs. The swivel chairs that you want are hard to find. Lori found some beautiful ones. Would you like to know how much they cost? I fucking know how much they cost. I don't know. <laughs> Like, it was, it was shocking. They're beautiful, though. Shocking. Lori was shocked when she saw the price. It's all shocking. Every time. I'm like, what the fuck? The, the bullshit, the furniture we have out there was stupid expensive. Okay, so think double. Yes. Possibly triple. Good Lord. It's beautiful. Lori found it. She's like, look, Renee, I found some. I was like, yeah, Lori, I love it. How much does it cost? Because I'm the only one who picks up around here. Why are you holding nuts? <laughs> <laughs> she just plays with it. These, look, they're so beautiful, they're on the front cover. Look at Renee just holding nuts. And by the way, this is what it looks why like when it's- Why are you so it, good with them, babe? This is what it looks like when it's cold. I've had them my whole life. That's why I'm so good at them. Is this what you're talking about? Aren't they beautiful? They swivel. These swivel? Uh-huh. But they don't have armrests. They don't have armrests. No. So, no. Yeah, but open up the book. There's you know, you want me to you want me to find furniture and you're like, pick out whatever you want, but then you're so specific. It has to swivel. It has to rock. It has to have arms. This stuff's nice. Did you look at the price of those chairs? The price is not nice. I'm not looking at <laughs> Does it say up here? Yep. <laughs> the pillow. The pillow alone is $275. Oh, but if you're a member, it's 206. These motherfuckers. You probably have to pay to be a member. You do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Holy forget what the shit, tater like chip. Anyways. How much are they? I forget what Lori The lounge about. chair is from, well, if you're a member, 3131. And then the other one is 4,175. What's the difference? Um, it's either extremely cheap and it falls apart really fast or it's super, super expensive and uh, it, it just falls apart a little bit later. They have arms. They do have but arms. But they don't swivel. That's okay, we don't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. But you, no, baby, swivel. Oh. I like to swivel. No, 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 I know, swivel is important to you because you like to turn and watch the TV. No, You're not gonna but, be moving big old but, chairs. Yeah. We, we could just, do it, the L, or you could do a horseshoe here. Facing that way. We could do a horseshoe. The only thing about yes. that then though, the reason we did the chairs is because we wanted the walkway here to the fridge and the the grill. You need you need flow of So space. then do the L here. Do the same L thing, that the L cuts you off here. Before you could oh, before you could walk out the door and you could go right through the middle, straight to the fridge and the grill. And that's why the coffee tables were small, so that you could maneuver through there. I think, I think that feature is important. Well, if they don't swivel, it's not the end of the world. I can just turn them around when I'm watching the game. Yeah. I don't know. scuff them up at that price. Yeah. Cold out I obviously don't know how to do it, but these doors open. There it is. Now I get it. And then it leads right out onto the patio. And watch the TV. Let's still be involved in whatever's going on out here on the beautiful patio. It's uh, 115 degrees right now, but on nice days and nights in the fall and in the spring, it's beautiful. Yeah. And we said that one was almost 10. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, we're not going to want this in the garage. It can just uh, stay against the wall for now. All right. So, did we decide we do want the... Let's go ahead and do the box spring. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. When he told me, when Steve told me to go shopping for a mattress, he says, I don't care, pick it out. I said, you have a bad back. Are you sure you do not want to come to make this decision? I don't have a bad back, so I, I just sleep hot. I said, the only thing I care is that the mattress is cool. But we'll see what Steve says when he lays on it. <laughs> okay, let me be more. And I told him, no complaints. Okay, they're delivering the mattress today. For the record, Steve said, he does not care about the mattress. He told me just to go and pick it out. But let's see what he says when he gets here and sleeps on it. All right, here's the test. I'm nervous. Uh-oh. He would say, I'm the picky one, but that's not true. He wants everyone <laughs> to believe I'm the picky one. <laughs> no, I really am the picky one. <laughs> <laughs> Me. It just depends on what it is. Yeah, yeah. 
Right air hose, left air hose. Left side of the bed. Uh-huh. Right side of the bed. Electricity. See? That nipple right there. It's a quick this hose. Connector. It's a quick connect. For any reason. You take this. It's got a little button here if you ever have to disconnect it. Nice. It's pending registration, so. Name on this side of the bed. Renee. You make the name on this side of the bed Captain Evil? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Captain Evil. <laughs> Funny. I got jokes too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It says, what do I want to name my bed? Steve would have had an answer I immediately. <laughs> what do you think Steve would say, Lauren? Oh, I, I can't think like Steve, sorry. <laughs> We don't have Steve's sick, twisted mind exactly. to know what he would name his bed. Let's go. Hello? We have to name our bed. What do you want to name it? Oh, man, the love machine? I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know what you would want to call it. I don't know, man. Stabbing Captain? I mean, what do you want to call it? <laughs> okay, yes, that's good. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> Stabbing Captain. No, I'm not really calling it that.